so much for taking time out. I know it's been busy for you. Did you know that this was all going to hit the fan today? Or maybe it was inevitable. I mean, in your new book, you speak of Seb Blatter's fee for organized crime family. That is what it has entailed. Well, indeed, and in the first couple of chapters, I deal with the FIFA, the, the FBI investigation because I've been talking to the FBI and giving them some documents for the last uh, best part of six years. So naturally, they don't tell me, I wish they did, which day they're going to raid. But I knew the grand jury was still sitting in New York before Christmas, and again, I was told two weeks ago. So the fact the grand jury was sitting, that the bosses haven't said, wrap it up, we spent too much money, tells you it's going to happen. So I knew it was going to happen. I didn't realize we got as much as they've got, but it's delightful to see that this is the end of an era of FIFA corruption, blatter corruption. He says he's not involved. Oh, please, was mm. he in the room when it was happening? No, no, he had his fingers in his ears. <laughs> so... Um, it's good news. It's good yeah. news for football. Yeah. Andrew, I think here's what's got me and a lot of people a bit confused with regards to this. Bribes totaling hundreds of millions of dollars over more than 20 years is revealed. 14 people are under well, indictment. Uh, FIFA President Seb Blatter is not one of them. It is mind-boggling, as you said. What happened? Was, he, was his eyes closed? What happened? It's impossible. Well, look. I can't believe that Blatter isn't going to get drawn into this because the investigations I've done over the years for BBC Panorama program show that he knew everything. I've doorstepped him because he wouldn't interview and he's denied knowing about things I knew he knew about. But this is only day one. They've got enough to fill the police station in Zoom. Mm all bodies, but some they get them in, process them in a normal way, read them their rights and tell them they're going to get extradition proceedings. Blatter will at the very, very least be badly tainted. He has to know. He's got, he can't not know about this. I knew about a great deal of it. I'm on the outside. He's been a micromanager for decades. Mm. And I think what we have to be doing is, say, oh, by all means, let's look at the evidence and let's exult in bad men who've robbed the game on their way to jail. But we're also going to be talking about how do we rebuild an international organization? Let's change the name. FIFA's dirty. Let's think of another name for it. And then let's throw out all the officials who never spoke up. Mm. Because, you know, the world is full of football officials, so South Africa, who weren't taking money, weren't taking bribes, but they never said a word. Mm. Now, FIFA... You, I'm broadcasting on the BBC, they had to know. But they didn't say anything. They, they sucked up to Sepp Blatter for nice little uh, assignments, to Issa Hayatu in African football, a loathsome uh, man. Mm -hmm. And I think you have to say, we all have to say, get out, out, and we'll find from the clubs upwards, from the fans upwards, a new structure. I think that, that, that was my next uh, question, Andrew. I mean, Africa, CAF, is obviously now involved as well by virtue of South Africa being implicated of having paid $10 million or somewhere around that, or maybe even more, I'm not sure, to get 2010 out here on the continent or in South Africa specifically. This has got wide implications and nobody, it seems, is going to be safe. It's early days. I think there's a lot more than 10 million, and I think people like Jack Warren from Trinidad was not only trying to shake down South Africa, he also was shaking down Morocco, Tunisia, Libya, and Egypt. Mm -hmm. um, and some of that's come out in Egypt. Uh, documents have become available that Warner was thieving and coming to be taken for other people. So we've got a lot more to come, and it's just going to get, for FIFA, thank goodness, news is going to get worse and worse. For South Africa, I had the feeling when South Africa was bidding that they weren't paying, that there was a, uh, an instruction within the government, we don't pay. Mm -hmm. um, you either like us and come here or you don't. And I know that the South African government, in secret, hired a private investigator to look into FIFA and to see if anybody was paying anybody. And he came up with the view that South Africa wasn't paying. He was South African, but he wouldn't be so patriotic he'd overlook uh, important evidence. So, fingers crossed, this one is not going to come back to uh, Mr. Mandela, that he was running a clean administration yeah. out of South Africa. Got it. Mainly because they wanted the photograph taken with him. Mm. And you were suckers enough to build those stadiums like the one in Cape Town <laughs> and all over the country. Absolute racketeering. You know that. You don't need me to tell yeah. you that. Yeah. And that's where you should be. What, let the FBI get on with their job. How about 
the South African government setting up an independent inquiry into how on earth you built unnecessary stadia, and obviously some contracts got skimmed. The people are entitled to this. Do you remember the service riots at the same time as the World mm-hmm. Cup was coming up? Yeah. Yeah, you know more about that than me. Yeah. That was outrageous. Sorry, you can't have running water. <laughs> We've got to build a monstrosity in Cape Town that Mr. Blatter wants. Yeah. Send him the bill. Send him the bill. Well, Andrew, let's move on before we, we run out of time. FIFA intends to go ahead with the planned election to come Friday. How serious should we take the outcome of those elections? Because, frankly... Truth, truth is, we don't care anymore. There's such a disgustingly tainted organization that they can elect, you know, the local passing rhinoceros. Who cares? The vote is bought. Um, Blatter will want the election because if he doesn't get it on Friday, he ain't going to get it ever again. And he wants to be there to oversee the scandals, yeah. to try and mitigate them, to try and keep control of it like any mafia boss. Mm. Um, will it happen? But if it does, it doesn't. Who's going to admit to voting for him? Put your hands up. South Africa, you're going to vote? Angola, are you going to vote Mozambique, Southern Africa, Central Africa? Are you going to vote for Blatter? Let's have your names and home numbers, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we don't care that, that the world where, that subsidizes world football, which is really European football, yeah. it's where the money is and it comes out in ground. You know, fair enough, of course the money should be shared between the rich and the poor. But if the poor are stealing at their end, we have to say, sorry, <coughs> fund yourselves. Oh, we yeah. can't do that. Yes, you can. So, um... We don't care about this election. Yeah. What a joke. And the, t- uh, the timing, or the, the timing too, of these arrests, do you think, again, I, I put this to you because, I mean, you, you, you have probably a better understanding of the mafia, as you call them. The timing of this, was it well orchestrated for Blatter to have, well, geez, a clean walk through to, 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 to his I, next I don't tenure? think, I, I, I think there's been a lot of wild supposition today. The reality is it's taken a long time to get it through the grand jury. They were still sitting a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. And indictments weren't unsealed. Once you've got the go-ahead from the grand jury that, yes, you can go and arrest these people, the evidence looks good enough to convict, but then, goodness me, look, they're all going to be in Zurich. That's where to do it. It's much easier to get them all in the dock at one go, get so about ten of them there, you know, for yeah. the extradition hearings, mm-hmm. which is the next stage, where we're going to get fantastic evidence. Yeah, because uh, the FBI are going to have to show out. Yeah, but I think I think it's merely they're all in the same place very soon after the FBI will be. There's nothing more to it. I yeah. wish it had been Friday morning. <laughs> I was hoping, knowing that there was, they could strike at any time, they would arrive at the Congress Hall at 11 o'clock in the morning saying, Oh, Mr. Blatter, uh, can you come this way, please? Oh, no, 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 I'm important that you're getting in the van. No, 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 I'm really busy. Get in the van, you know. <laughs> well, we'll get there. Don't assume Blatter's got away yeah. with it, and don't assume that the World Cup's <laughs> going to be in Doha or in Russia. Because what, what it's is, all moving fast. What is, what is say, Andrew, I mean, seeing that it's moved along this quickly, and as far as the names as well implicated and the names arrested, I'm sure somebody is going to drop the penny and say, look, of course I did it. I don't mind. State witness, Blatter made me do it. I'm sure that could pop up. Well, but they've got again. cooperating witnesses already. You see, they've got them. They've got Chuck Blazer. They've got Chuck Warner's son. There's two others. I can guess who one of them is. And I can guess who another one is, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, I was talking to an FBI man just before Christmas in London, actually, not on this case, but mm-hmm. I was telling you about it. He said, how many co- collaborators have we got? I said, well, I think they've got two, three, maybe four. He said, and this was a guy who did the Wolf of Wall Street, Greg yeah. Coleman. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. he said, when I did that one, he said, I, you, you get one, then you roll them over and get another one, and so on. He said, I had six cooperating witnesses before we, uh, we unsealed indictments. Mm. So there could be more, or there'll, there'll be some phoning up the FBI and say, I want to come in and give up, please, I don't mm. want to go to jail. <laughs> well, I look, look at a nicer bunch of crooks. <laughs> and Jennings, Let's remember, they stole our game. Andrew Jennings, unfortunately, that's, that's where we're going to have to leave it. As you can see, well, the, the faces, and as far as the names that are, are, are implicated here, Andrew, it, they've robbed the world of football, and I'm sure the whole world, the continent, will be keeping their eye on this story as it unfolds. Extradition... Get for... rid of all the African officials. And then you get around to the Europeans, sure. <laughs> but you're in Africa. Get rid of yours, and we'll do the best we can elsewhere. Well, there has been a call that Issa Hayatou is in... I don't want to say I do not want to say in the pocket of Sepp Blatter because there'll be there'll be slander. But there has been allegations that no, it's Issa Hayatou is involved. Look, we all know about Hayatou. We all know. You know. 
We we just yawn that he still gets away with it. He and by the way, none of them all do because they won't go in the witness box because they fear the questions they'd be asked. Yeah. Andrew Jennings, thank you very okay. much for speaking to us right on SABC Sports Live. Hey, good luck. I've got a rush. Thank so you very much, Andrew. again. Cheerio. We'll do. Bye-bye. Andrew Jennings, investigative reporter, speaking to us right here on SABC Sports Live. He's got a book out, especially, well, specifically speaking on this, calling Seb Blatter and his, well, mafioso, basically. He's very vocal, isn't he? He is. <laughs> quite, quite a bubbly man, isn't yeah. he? Bubbly character. Yeah. Doesn't leave anything to chance. No, definitely yeah. not. Well, anyway, we'll be following the story. Do stay tuned to SABC News Channel 404. Do stay tuned to SABC Radio. Everything you need to know as far as this story is concerned will be rolling out the updates as far as that is concerned.